Here's something embarrassing, but it's important that I need to show you, the viewer, about my hydroponic garden. Now, how did this happen? Greensmachines.com Back in the winter, my area was hit with a once in a hundred years winter storm. Now waking up to seeing my hydroponic garden collapsed again is never fun. But instead of being like the other times this happened, one of the growth channels ended up snapping in half. I have to say though, if it took this strong of a storm to knock the garden down, that's proof enough that this frame is sturdy enough for general use. With one channel out of commission, I would either need to replace it, repair it, or operate the garden without one set of channels, which is pretty easy to do by closing the inlet valve. I opted for repairing it. The brake was clean, so there was no need to find something to help patch a hole. To seal the two sections together, I took some Loctite and generously applied it to the exterior of the channel, around the breakage. I allowed it to cure for 48 hours, and the two sections were back together. And from my hydro tests, it didn't appear to leak. Very nice. Considering the other options, repairing this channel with Loctite was the most effective solution. If the damage had been worse, I would have to manufacture a new growth channel. But thankfully, this channel design is modular. I would just have to acquire the parts and drill a bunch of holes. If you want to build a hydroponic garden like this one, I have drawn up the plans in PDF format. You can purchase this document from our Etsy shop, which I'll link in the top right and in the description below. If you want to watch more hydroponic gardening videos with this garden, you can watch another by clicking this card here. See you in the next one.